Hey everyone, just wanted to update you all on my experience in Dragonflight PvP. So, I didn't get Gladiator once again, Duelist Andy, and the reason why is because I fundamentally misunderstood the way that WoW 3v3 arenas actually work. So, why did it take me so long to realize this? Um, because I didn't play an Evoker myself, honestly, and usually didn't get to queue with them since Mage Evoker was not very popular for most of the expansion, and Evoker has Time Stop. I thought I knew what Time Stop was. I was wrong. I forgot that you could cast it on teammates. This made me realize that if the enemy team has an Evoker, they will have a defensive reaction for my 2 minute burst cooldown every 45 seconds, even if we aren't trying to kill the Evoker. All of my gearing, stat priority, and talent advice thus far has been wrong. For 3v3, everything I've taught in my guides works great for Rogue Mage style 2v2 games, not as strong for healer mage comps, and I still believe that mastery is useless for these types of games and therefore haste is just way more valuable. Now why is this the case? So consider the classic RMD style that's been around since the start of Arena PvP. You stun the main kill target, CC the other two enemies, and then send your burst to either kill in that window or force an enemy trinket. This was the optimal way to set up kills until Legion. After the release of Demon Hunters with their high mobility, multiple forms of CC, and especially their three defensive cooldowns on top of their trinket, made it almost impossible to kill a Demon Hunter. On top of that, they have an easy rotation that both cleaves and does strong single target damage, with high sustained damage outside of their burst cooldowns. Darkness from Demon Hunters can be shared with their party members, so now everyone on the Demon Hunters team effectively has access to the Demon Hunters Darkness defensive cooldown. However, this is even worse with the introduction of Evokers, where Time Stop can be shared with friendly party members on a 45 second cooldown, which is extremely short compared to the 5 minutes on Darkness. So now, in order to defeat a team with these short defensives that can be shared between each other, you need to land your kill after they use Time Stop. However, the enemy will only use a defensive like Time Stop if you pressure them with an offensive cooldown, like Combustion. Combustion has a 2 minute cooldown, meaning that they will always have Time Stop to react to Combustion. Therefore, the kill window is actually after you've traded your Combustion for the enemy Time Stop. This is why Mastery is better than Haste. Instead of going for fast kills and short burst windows with Combustion, you're looking to trade Combustion with the enemy's defensive cooldown, and then use your high sustain damage to kill them before they can get their defensives back up. Another thing to consider is that in PvP, players are constantly using CC, and you're often shut down when trying to burst, and the best way to keep dealing maximum damage even when you aren't casting, for example the enemy CCing you, or if they're line of sighting you, is to rely on dot damage. This revelation was so soul crushing for me honestly and I actually ended my stream and almost cried because I felt like I had misled you, my audience. I misunderstood the game and was trying to convince you all to follow a similar playstyle, however in finding this out I suddenly was able to make sense of why players like Naj say that retail PvP is so stale. It's quite literally sustain the most damage and rotate through the enemy's defensive cooldowns until they have nothing left. Or get lucky and land a kill early because the enemy team didn't press the defensives correctly, for example overlapping them or using them too late. Now the War Within so far seems to introduce a lot more quality of life to every class's rotation to make it easier to sustain damage. However, I'm also noticing a lot of RNG talents that deal overpowered damage. For example, Fire Mages have Living Bomb baked into their rotation almost like a passive, and if the enemy stacks, Living Bomb has a chance to explode multiple times. This leads to unhealable damage but only procs about 1 out of 10 games or versus very specific comps with lots of pets like Demo Warlock Unholy DK. So essentially the game is exactly the same as it was in Dragonflight, but now all classes have a random chance to deal sudden death damage to try to balance out comps with tons of defensive cooldowns, such as Devastation Demon Hunter which can share both Darkness and Time Stop plus their two defensives and their trinkets. I now finally realize why a spec like Fire Mage is A tier but not S tier. Just imagine how easy the class would be if Ice Block had a 45 second cooldown. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm still gonna be making content on the GPI Meteor combos in the next expansion, The War Within, and with this new knowledge I hope to climb even higher in Solo Shuffle in 3v3 in the next season. And I hope the same for all of you who watch this video. I want to sincerely apologize for putting out content that may have confused the viewers of this channel about how WoW PvP works. And I still think that killing quickly is a lot of fun, 
But if you're like me and you really want to climb ratings in 3v3 because you just love WoW Arena, I hope this new understanding of sustained damage and cooldown trading will help you achieve your goals. Now that leaves me with the future of this channel, because to be completely honest with all of you, I don't really enjoy retail 3v3s anymore. And with there being zero rewards and a lack of players in the 2v2 bracket, I just don't have very much incentive to play retail. I realize now that classic PvP is so much better because the damage rotations were slower and easier, allowing for more PvP strategy. I mean, it also doesn't have classes like Demon Hunters or Evokers ruining the setup comps like RMD, which is my favorite gameplay. So I'm in the process of leveling a human mage on White Main, Cataclysm Classic, and once I'm fully geared, I'll start making Fire Mage content for Classic as well. But don't worry, I'll still keep the flame alive on retail. I think a lot of players are still trying to figure out how the game works, and the more people that we can get to understand these concepts, the more popular classic PvP can become. The PvP community is extremely divided between games, and I think that until we unite and start to have a real community with a voice, I don't even think it's possible for Blizzard to address the real problems at the heart of retail PvP that make it kinda boring. I really want to give a special thank you to everyone who comments on this channel. I really love discussing things like this with you guys and making these videos. Be sure to tune in on Twitch so we can discuss it more. I play WoW almost every day, and thanks for watching.